Cycling the entire length of the South Downs Way in one weekend, is that even possible? Well, I gave it a go with a group of mountain bikers who promised that we'd make it. Anyone with a reasonable level of fitness could cycle the 100 mile route on an electric bike. We rode Trek Powerflies, e-mountain bikes which start at £4,500. The batteries last between 25 and 50 hours, depending on how much power you use. Mine was made of alloy and has 11 gears. I can ride a bike, but going off-road for the first time was initially nerve-wracking. The hardest part for me were the technical climbs, which were so steep and rocky it was like cycling up a flight of stairs. I quickly had to get used to riding over roots and boulders and navigating tight corners. But the bike makes me rethink what's possible. Up the many hills along the way, I put it into turbo mode, the full power setting, and it did all the hard work for you. That said, I learned that if you stop pedalling, you'll come to a grinding halt, which makes it hard to start uphill again. At the top of every climb, you're rewarded with the most incredible views of the rolling Sussex countryside. The South Downs is a completely unspoiled pocket of England. You'll share it with other cyclists, walkers, bird watchers, and see the occasional kite and hang glider in the sky. I felt more than a little smug that we got to see the entire route in just one weekend.